Jenny, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really, really. We're on a squiff again. Why are we on a squiff? It's better. Right. I have got some new products to test. Some of them I am doing the testing the products I got in Home Bargains for 99p. And that is, if I can pick it up, I have got the W7 waterproof, absolutely. Is it waterproof? Yeah, absolutely waterproof mascara. I think it's like a dupe of their real by benefit, but I'm not 100% sure. We've got an eyeshadow primer and a foundation. Now, I'm not sure about the foundation, but for like moisturizer, I have mixed in these. These are the Golden Glow Drops by W7. And I'll be honest, right, in the summer, I'd be quite happy to go out with just that on my face. It's just, I've mixed it in with my Inky List moisturizer and it's just given a really nice sort of healthy glow there's no coverage or anything it hasn't covered anything it just looks healthy I look like I've been in the sun a little bit just a little bit one second sorry about that the dog was just about to bark his head off because we got a delivery but right and then we got some testing new other makeup so we've got those bits and then I have got an eyeshadow palette this is the MUA Neutral Wonderlust Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I haven't tried this. It's still sealed. I can't even get in it. It's still sealed. I'll open it up in a minute. But yeah, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette. I have got the... This is a new... One of the new blushes that you can get in Primark for £1.50. And it's in the shade Sangria in Half Dark. But I like the look of it, so we'll give that a go. I'm going to be using this. It's an oldie, but a goodie. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, pressed powder. This is cheap as chips. I think it's about three or four pounds, and it's brilliant. I've got mine in the shade Peach Glow. Now, I've used this powder since I was about 12, truth be told. Then, I don't know if you remember, I bought a um, little makeup set from Timo. I got a concealer to try. That was cheap as chips. And then I've got another W7 Highlight. And for blush and bronzer, I'm going to be dipping into this palette. This is the Pretty Peony palette from W7. Um, yeah, I think that's... Oh, and I've got a cheap Revolution Sheer Lip Gloss, I think it is, to try. Yeah, it's just... just uh, I'm just basically... The cheapest stuff I've got in my stash, I thought I would put it all together and give it a go. The one thing that isn't cheap that I'm going to do is my primer. I'm going to use this one from the Beauty Crop. It's a pore filling primer. I I like this primer and I do think that, you know, you've got to give your makeup half a chance. And so, sorry, one of Max's uh, hairs in my primer. I'm guessing it was stuck to my face. So I'm just going to put that on just to sort of even out my skin a bit just to help you're probably wondering why down here I don't know if you know but I use Dermatica and I am purging finally it took a couple of weeks well just over a month but I've started I've got down here I've got one there I've got one under the skin there that's actually quite painful and I'm a bit rashy and for some reason I've got a rash on my neck here look I don't know what that is or where it's come from or what's caused it I have no idea but yeah anyway so we'll put that on there that looks all right now I'm gonna pause you a minute and get into the primer because it's all sealed up and I will be back right here we go now this is obviously a dupe of the P Louise eyeshadow base which I have so you know in fact most of these products except the mascara if they're a dupe of something I think I have the originals I think think some of them I do anyway I know I definitely have the P Louise base and the foundation this is a, supposed to be a dupe of the Estee Lauder one and I do have that so what I might do is a little video comparing the two and we'll see if it's you know any good but I mean I know the Estee Lauder one is good so we'll have a look and see if this is any good in this video if it is then we'll compare the two together and see if we can tell the difference. So, yeah, here we go. So, there's that. That's that on. Right, just that. And then I've started damping my sponge because apparently it helps. I don't know. 
I've only done it a couple of times. So far, the jury's out. I I'm not sure if it actually helps. We'll see. Eventually. As you know, I put it on with a brush anyway first. Always have. Well, no, not always, but recently. Right. Which is not at all, isn't it? That's not always. Yeah. Okay, ignore me. Ignore me. I'm having a moment. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the lightest shade. I've not tried these little eyeshadow palettes from MUA. Um, but I have it on good authority that they are supposed to. Oh, that's quite good. They are supposed to be quite good. Look at that. That's actually quite pigmented for such a pale colour that that has evened everything out on my lid. But yeah, I mean, that that eyeshadow base, I already like it more than the P. Louise one. The P. Louise one stings when I put it on. This one doesn't sting. So we already have a plus. Um, then in this one, I'm going to go into the middle shade here um, and just put that in my crease. So they're quite pigmented. Look, they, they look all right. Let's have a look. Let's just put that in. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. But all of this makeup that I'm using, I believe, is under a fiver. I'm not sure how much these eyeshadow palettes retail for, but I will put it up on screen for you. I think, I think it's about £3.99, something like that. I know they're not dear. And they are a dupe of the Natasha Denona, I think. I have got those as well. Um, and they're, they're quite good, but, you know, I've got a nude one that's very like this. I don't know if it's an exact dupe or whatever, but it is like this. Um, and I do like it, but we could definitely try comparing them if they are. I don't know. I don't know if they are because I haven't haven't had used that one in a while actually i'm just getting another fluffy brush and then i'm going to go into the darker shade and pack that onto the outer corner it's quite a nice dark shade it's actually darker than you think it's darker than that but you know we'll just pack it on out here and just this is quite a nice this this palette would be ideal for like travel and things like that definitely okay for travel because it's nice and small and compact, but it's got some nice colours in. Look at that, see? Perfect. Perfect colour. Just, and they're blending out so nicely. But yeah, that's really pretty. I really like that. And then the other side. Here we go. There. work on that one some more there we go so they're matched up and then I'm just going to go back into the first fluffy brush go back into that medium shade and then just just blend out the edges of that just to soften it so it's not so harsh because like I say this is what I sort of do for an everyday look if I was just sort of going out very basic look yeah I think that's really pretty yeah and then I'm just gonna have a look let's have a look I don't know which one of these to use so if we swatch one oh that's really creamy they're really creamy look at those look at those look that is so pretty and they're very similar they are very similar so I don't really know which one to do um look look at that that is incredible that is incredible right I think I'm gonna take this one here because I don't think there's any difference in them 
I'm just going to load up my finger. They're very putty like, very putty like, and they're a bit clumpy. I don't know if you can see, they're a bit sort of clumpy. But we're just going to put it on the inner corner and see what happens. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look. One look at that. That is, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm buying more of these palettes. We're going to MUA. I was considering doing a full face of MUA makeup. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Look at that. Look at that. That is incredible. I love that. That is so pigmented. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's load up the other pinky. Look. One swipe. Look at that. One swipe. And then just blend it all into itself. Look at that. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then just blend it. Oh, I am well impressed with those. Oh, yes. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right, I'm going to go and clean my Tin Man hands and I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, finally, well, no, not quite de-shined. Look at that. It's still there. I've, yeah, I can't get it off. But we're going on to face next. So we've got this. And like the Estee Lauder one, it doesn't come with a pump. Nor does that one, to be fair. So we just need a tiniest, tiniest, let's, let's put a little bit. Come on. It's quite thick. There, look at that. It's quite thick, but let's put the lid back on. So is the SD Lauder one. And where's my... I haven't brought it over. One second. And I found it. Right, I'm going to get my... Get a foundation brush. I don't know which one, but one. What have we got in here? Haha, the rebel. We have my the rebel. So I'm just going to put it on my face like this. And then we're going to blend it out and see what happens. It's an okay shade for me, this. I don't like how it smells. It does dissipate. Yeah, it smells. Hmm. I do recognise the smell. Hmm. What does that remind me of? I'm trying to think. I'm thinking. What does it remind me of? It reminds me of... You know when you were a kid, you'd get, like, baby dolls. You know what they smelled like when you first brought them home? That funny, plasticky type smell that they had, like, on their heads and that, that you could smell. That's what it smells like. Yeah. Taking me back to my childhood. Not sure I want it in a makeup, but... Right, I'm just gonna... Just... It's quite full coverage, which, as we know, is not my favourite, but... I mean, the only thing I will say is this was the only shade they had in my home bargains. Um, other people have had different stuff, different um, foundations and stuff. Let's see. We've got my line there. Let's have a look, see if we can put some of this on and cover it up, see if it'll cover it up. No, not really. A little bit. But, you know, that ain't too bad. It's covered my spot there. Just there. And the redness that I got on my chin. I'll put a little bit more on my nose. Just work it into the sides. I've got a red mark on the top of my nose, but that's where my glasses sit. 
and I haven't long come back from driving so because I only wear them for driving <laughs> there we go what do we think that's not too bad is it it's not sitting in around my nose too bad it looks okay just do that anyway I'm going to take my sponge and then I'm just going to press it in just bounce it yeah I like that <laughs> yes definitely like that I really do like that it looks nice it looks nice it's highly pigmented so you know there's that but it does look nice now I've got the concealer to try as we know I don't know if this is going to be my color it looks a bit fair but we're just tiny oh wow tiny tiny little bits in there I don't know what it's like this one it literally you can see it just came in a little set from Timu I thought I'd give it a go I've got it we'll see I don't like it <laughs> it's too light oh dear we've made a right mess now haven't we hopefully this will blend it out a bit um right it's not the right color it's a bit light but i could make that work look it has brightened my under eyes it isn't sitting in all my fine it's not too bad oh crap it's not too bad i mean it's not not a spot concealer that's for sure but it can definitely go underneath my eyes yeah okay it's not too bad it's not too bad but it's not perfect but right now today i don't have any cream products like blush or bronze or anything so i'm going to go in with my powder this one like i say i was just looking for the cheapest stuff i had in my collection and this is one and this is a powder i like this is the it is peach glow i'm just going to work it into my puff and then i'm going to start at the outer corner hold on that's creased under there now just pat that in and then just press uh, it's still one of the best powders out there I'm afraid <laughs> but it's only a couple of quid Rimmel it's a really nice look it's just a nice finish and it's made it's helped with that where it was just too bright under my eyes it's helped bring that down just a little bit but it's nice yeah it is a nice powder it just goes to show you don't need the expensive stuff, do you, to get a decent face of makeup. You don't need to spend a fortune. But yeah, this is just, it's a nice one. Like I say, this was my go-to for years. I've always loved this one. And I haven't used it for ages. Ages and ages. So much so that I actually threw out my old one and bought that one about three or four months ago. Yeah, that's nice. It's set under my eyes. It's not cakey. It's not congealing. It's nice. It's really good. I like that. I still like it. It's still one of my favourites. Still a good one. So there's that. Right, next, bronzer. Now, I've got a couple. So I've got this one. Um, and I've also got this one, which is the Honolulu one, which is the dupe of the, what's it called? Hula bronzer from Benefit. So I think we're going to use this one. I do like this one. I have used it before. It's quite pigmented, this one. So you need just the tiniest little bit, tap it off, and then just be, be sparing. Just gently tap before you go in otherwise it'll just it is quite pigmented but it is a lovely color bronzer it is nice see just tap it off and then light hand gently tapping before you just then start swirling otherwise you end up with too much in one place there like that there, see it's a nice color bronzes me up nicely yeah here's a nice one tap off we just round the round the top 
down. Yeah, yeah, I do like that one. It is, it is one that I've had in my collection for a while. This one, I mean, I do really rate a lot of W Seven makeup. A lot of it is, is, is really, really worth the, worth the money. Then we got this. Look at this color. Look at that. Now I'm going to test this on my hand to see how pigmented before I go straight in. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, it's not too bad. That's good because that is a really deep shade. Look, look at that. But you put it on and it's not too bad, right? So there, dab. And then just up there where I like to have my blush. There. There, see, it just comes out nice. Yeah, I like that. But I am going to go in with a with my foundation brush again and just tap over the top because it's really more pigmented than I thought. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I quite like that. Now, under my eye here is creased. Just here. But I've got one crease, like one wrinkle crease there. And don't matter what I do. Doesn't matter what I do, it's still there. I've had laser treatment on it. I've had microneedling on it. I've had dermaplane. I've had, yeah, the only thing I haven't done is put a filler in it. Um, but nothing seems to get rid of it. I don't think you can see it all that well, which is good because I don't want people to know it's there. I mean, if you're in person, you can see it, but yeah, I don't care. Anyway, anyhow, right, next. I have not got a eyeliner. So what I thought I'd do is in this in here, I'm going to take where have I got a liner brush? Come on, I know I've got some. Because I use them. So here we go. I've got a little liner brush. There is a little, and I'm just gonna use it to stamp along my lash line on the top and do a little wing, but I'm gonna yeah, just use this. So just, just along there, like so. Yeah, just ever such a subtle wing. She says, drawing the line all the way up to her eyebrow. And then just sort of fill in here a bit. But yeah, it's just... Just do that. And then this side. There we go. Just along the lash line with the eyeliner. Oh, uh, with the. What's this called? Eyeshadow. This is a good way to do the eyeliner if you're a beginner. I'm not a beginner, but I still can't get them to match. That do. And then I'm just going to put it along my lower lash line as well. Just down there. Just join it up to that line there. There we go. Right, there we go. I think that looks all right. And then we've got this W7 mascara. Now, I'll be honest, I've used a couple of W7 mascaras and I've, yeah, they're, they're not the best. But, new mascara, new try. Not tried this one. I've not tried their dupe of the Their Real either. So I don't know if, it's, if that one's any good, but we'll try this one. I have tried Their Real from Benefit. And I like it, it's not favourite, but it's, it's, you know, it's a good mascara. So yeah, it just looks like this. Pretty blue packaging. Let's have a look at the wand, shall we? Now this, like I say, this was 99p. Oh yes, look, that's, yeah, that's definitely, yep, yeah, that's what, they're real, that's what the wand looks like. So we're going to do the lower ones first. Yeah, 
it's grabbing my lashes really well, especially my bottom ones. Yeah, look. See? It's definitely done the job down there, isn't it? So, try this side. It's not the best down there, but it's definitely not the worst, you know. I mean, you can see them. It's defined them. It's not clumpy or all over the place. So, yeah, that one's good. Right, now we'll try the top. See what it gets, what it does to the top lashes. That's not bad, look. That isn't bad. I quite like that. Just do the other side. Yeah, that's. I think this is pretty good, actually. That's just one coat. I'm going to go in and do a second coat on the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's definitely... Look at that. 99p, that ain't bad. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to go back to Home Bargains and see if I can get some more of this. 99p well I'll, I'll see how long it lasts see what it's like lasting wise whether it goes everywhere but that's really good i'm really impressed if i can just get it there there we go yeah i really like that i really rate that so far yeah, and then we just got this Revolution. I've never tried one of this sheer brilliant lip glosses. I don't know what shade it is, shade bouquet. I've never tried one of these. I don't have a lip liner. So we're just going to go in with this and see what happens. It's definitely the sort of colour I like. Look at that. That's quite nice. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that smells of... Uh... Oh, what are they called? The little purple sweets. We used to get them when we were kids. What are they called? Oh, damn it. Saint Violets. Oh. Paul? Do you remember the little sweets? Yeah. Oh, what are they called? Palm of Violets. That's them. Palm of That's right, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. Palm of the I need to know. I'm, I'm pausing I'm you. I'm Pause looking it up for me. I need to know. I think it's Palm of Violets. They smell, it smells exactly like those. Palm of Violets. Palm of Violets. Yay. <laughs> Go me. So, yeah. Look. That's it. Right. There we go. Full face of my cheapest makeup, including the 99p bargains from Home Bargains. What do we think? I like it. I actually like it. I think... I think that's really good. I'm actually really liking these. Underneath, it's given me a nice glow so that 
when the rest of my face get the rest of my body gets brown in the summer i can artificially make my face a bit bronzy because i definitely wear these with my moisturizer over the top of my spf just to give myself a bit of a glow during the summer definitely like those i've used the revolution ones i like the color this gives me a bit more but those are nice too this gives me a bit more color than that than ones then ones are a bit lighter but yeah these are really really nice are they a dupe for the drunk elephant apparently so i don't know myself because i've never tried the drunk elephant ones and i'm not going to because i'm not prepared to pay that price but if you want to try them um i there are several influences out there. Steph Toms has done a video and even she rates them next to the Drunk Elephant ones and she lives with the drunk, lives using the Drunk Elephant ones. I will, if I can find her video again I, or I remember, I will link it below so you can go and have a look. But yeah, yeah, her and um, Claire Walsh, she, she done it. I, I'll probably find hers a bit easier. So I will link her video below where she she because she speaks a bit more about it because she's got the drunk elephant ones i don't but i do like these ones so yeah they're really nice um but yeah this i will come back on in a couple of hours and let you know how i'm getting on with the mascara so far so good this is really nice really nice look what it's done to my lashes i really like that and if it is any good i will be going back and trying to get some more um but that's the first w7 mascara i've tried that i've liked from from the get-go i haven't before this is really nice and i'm thinking i'm going to compare it to the estee lauder one i will definitely do uh either a short or a video and i will compare the two because i have the estee lauder one i don't think they're quite the same shade but yeah i do have the estee lauder one and i do like that one um so yeah i'll compare the two of those for you the concealer yeah it's the wrong color for me but it hasn't creased or gone all funny under my eyes so not bad not bad i like the hula bronzer i'm well chuffed with this that shimmer is stunning is it a bit wrinkly on my eyes yes i'm 47 my eyeballs are wrinkly it's just fact but it does look stunning i do like how it looks it's uh yeah, I'm going to be definitely buying some more of these. Definitely like those. But yeah, anyway, that's it from... Oh, and this this is another 99p thing I found. And it doesn't sting my eyes. So already I like it better than the P. Louise one. Because that does sting my eyes. Quite a few of them do. Revolution one stings my eyes. What else? What other ones have I tried? This one, the Beauty Bay one and the Be Perfect ones don't. The Urban Decay one does sting my eyes. Uh, I got one from She Glam that stung my eyes. So yeah, but yeah, this one didn't. So yeah, I love that one. But yeah, anyway, I do so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos to come. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye for now. <laughs>